Hey, it's Christine with 90. I'm going to show you the new customization of each meeting that's available. So when you come to the meetings page, you can click on the meeting settings button. And before where you could just change the timeframes, now we've opened it up so that you can rearrange these sections. You can hide the existing ones. So if we toggle this off, it'll make sure that it's not appearing in the meeting agenda when we start the meeting. And then on top of just customizing these sections with a bit more detail, like changing the name, moving and hiding, we've given you the ability to add different sections. So when we add a section, it's going to allow me to just type in a title here so I can click type title and then it even opens up to the right hand side the ability to have any sort of text or links or anything that you want to come up during the meeting in this specific section. So maybe in a sales meeting, you go through new leads, um, you want to put that in and then you want to put in a link to Salesforce so we can type Salesforce. We can highlight that and then we can enter the URL that we want to have in here. So now that would be a hyperlink that you can click on just during the meeting. So that's how you would control the different sections. Um, here's a couple reminders down here about making sure it's within the right time frame. And then if you did want to go and edit any of the other meetings, you could click and select those as well. Uh, if you did want to reset, Reset to EOS default, and then it just comes back up with your normal level 10 agenda. This is going to be great if you do have a same page meeting. So when you come in here, um, you can go to a same page meeting just by clicking on the team, and then you can toggle off any sections that you don't want to cover in that specific same page meeting just to shorten and condense that down. So play around with it. Let me know if you have any questions and excited to see how this goes for you. Thanks.